mean, if you look yeah. at the recent election in Pakistan, mm -hmm. I mean, I think it was only it was less than 2% of people voted for the extreme mm -hmm. Islamic parties. So, so when people are actually able to vote, they yeah. don't vote for it. Yeah. Um, the, the problem is in Pakistan that, that many parts of the power elite, notably <coughs> the, the army top brass mm -hmm. and the ISI, the Inter-Services Intelligence, they have become more and more and more Islamicized. Mm -hmm. I mean, it used to be that the generals in Pakistan were completely secular, mm -hmm. sort of, you know, golf playing, whiskey drinking, mm -hmm. British accented, mm -hmm. um, you know, buffoons, but at least, uh, at least secular. Um, now what's happening is that you've got a, a military elite and an intelligence elite mm -hmm. that is very Islamic mm -hmm. and they have a nuclear bomb. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's that's the problem. The problem is not of the opinion of the mass of the nation. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's actually a, it's a leadership problem. Mm -hmm. um, and as a result, Pakistan has you know got every terrorist group in the world with its headquarters there. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the big problem. I noticed that that. Do you think the appeal of Islamic fundamentalism is going to ebb in in any foreseeable future? Uh, you know, I'm not good at prophecy. Mm -hmm. You know, prophets. Not, you know, I've had some trouble with prophets. I, 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 really? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 you, one not, of them gave the Satanic Verses a very bad review. A bad review, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was my Paul's thing. My Paul said that he thought it was very bad. That's how he described it. Oh, he did described he? it as a very bad review. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which I'm willing to believe was a joke. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's so I don't. I'm not good at, at foreseeing, but I mean, I, there is a bit of me which. I mean, if, if there's a reason for optimism, say, mm. it's that if you look at the countries in which Islamic radicalism has been most powerful, mm. uh, they're also the countries in which it's most disliked. You know, so, so the Iranians really don't like the Ayatollahs, you know, and, and the Afghans really detested the Taliban. And in Algeria, where for a time there was this uprising of, of um, extremist Muslim groups like the FIS, GIA, mm. very rapidly people were disenchanted, mm -hmm. you know. So, so it, it may be that this is like a fever burning through, mm -hmm. you know, and and burns itself out.